The agricultural sector in Zambia is experiencing a lot of challenges due to effects of drought for 2017 and 2018 farming season coupled with slow implementation of agricultural policies such as late delivery of farming inputs and misadministration of the e-voucher system in most parts of the country with the farmers and the United Party for National Development Chairman for Agriculture, Levi Ngoma, says that his party considers agriculture sector as major employer in job creation and will ensure that the Sustainable Development Goals and Maputo's declaration are supportive to make the sector viable. That this sector can be a major contributor to economic growth and a sustainable economy. The UPND's agriculture policies will be anchored on and guided by the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, the Maputo Declaration, and Zambia's Vision 2030. Hence, we are committed to building a strong and sustainable agriculture industry. We in the UPND strongly believe that agriculture has to be a serious business which has to positive, positively contribute to job creation, poverty eradication, national food security, and better nutrition. Small-scale farming in Zambia is common with production of maize, and the e-voucher system has remained a challenge due to lack of implementation, and UPND is of the considered view to scrap it off. UPND uh, uh, top government policy changes will be, one, a UPND government will commit 10% of the national budget to agriculture as part of Zambia's commitment to the Maputo Declaration, African Union Agriculture Declaration, and the United Nations Sustainable Goals. Food security will be our top priority, and hence we will restructure the Food Reserve Agency and ensure that the agency is owned by both the farmers and the state. Now, United Party for National Development has held a party subcommittee workshop in Lusaka with the interaction of National Democratic Institute to understand more the importance of the agricultural sector. And UPND Secretary General Stephen Katuka officially opened the meeting. We are not looking at seasonal maize alone. We are talking about holistic approach to the development of this sector. We are talking about diversifying the sector to include other areas such as aquaculture, livestock, as well as value addition. The promotion of other crops such as sorghum, millet, cassava, cashew nuts, cotton, tobacco, and other highly nutritious and economic crops shall be explored once we form government. And that exploration starts here today. This is why we remain indebted and grateful to NDI for the initiative and we have no doubt as a party that this team will rise to the occasion and provide that leadership. The farming season for 2017 and 2018 have issues surrounding the distribution of fertilizer in some parts of the country and there is impact of high millimole prices. Recently, United Prosperous and Peaceful Zambia National Spokesperson Francis Kope said that President Edgar Lungu has the capacity to influence the reduction of millimole price at household level. For CBC News, I'm Pamela Mulenga in Lusaka.